Hello my beloved viewers. Welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel VBA code course that is currently running into my channel. Friends, today in this video we are going to learn about macros, the macros chapter 2, right? If you remember my previous video, I have showed you how to use and run a macro. So today we are going to learn again the testing the macro from the beginning. So here in the Excel sheet, we have a macro enabled workbook here. And if we go to any of the sheet, then click on any of the sales, then go to developer tab, then click on macros on code block. Here we will find our saved macro. And if we run that macro, it will exactly run like this. So now you know how to test a macro, how to run a macro. Another way to execute your macro, if you remember we have added a shortcut key that was Control Shift and V. Right here we have added a shortcut key. So if you press or click any of these buttons Control Shift and V, it will run the macro automatically right so let's get back to the next point that is examining the macro so again let's get back to the excel workbook so you have recorded a macro and you have tested it if you are a curious type you are probably wondering what this macro looks like and you might even wonder where it is stored Remember when you started recording the macro, you indicated there as store macro in this workbook. The macro is stored in this workbook only, but you need to activate the Visual Basic Editor to see it. So how can you see it? Just follow my options, go to developer tab from here, then go to code block, right? then click on visual basic or you can directly press alt f11 key from your keyboard right here it is in this vbe window locate the window called project like this i have had project vba project here you can find that each project is arranged as a tree like this and uh, can be expanded by clicking on this right select that project that corresponds to the workbook in which you have recorded the macro and if you remember we have recorded that in the sheet 1 click on module 1 and module 2 double click on module 2 or module 1 look at here in module 1 we have nothing but in module 2 we have get the macro so it shows how it looks on my screen on your screen it may look differently the code that's recorded depends on the specific actions you made while you have recorded the macro at this point the macro probably looks like Greek to you don't worry stay with this channel and in my upcoming videos I will explain each and every options from where you can learn the macro and VBA from the beginning level so the name and time macro consists of several statements. Excel executes the statements one by one from top to bottom. A statement that preceded by an apostrophe like this is a comment. Comments are included only for your information and are ignored. In other words, Excel skips write over comments. The first VBA statements which begins with that this one sub identifies the macro as a sub procedure and gives its name as we have provided the name as ABC if you read through this code you may be able to make sense of some of it you see this name like ABC keyboard shortcut control shift V whatever we have done in that macros right and a lots of additional code that changes the font the sub procedure ends with the end sub statement you can see here so let's get back to the next point and that is modifying the macros so here as you might expect not only can you view in the VBE you can also change it from here 
even though you probably have no idea what you are doing at this point I bet you can make these changes in the code change this name or anything else change active window zoom in any other direction or this name that is technical portal that is my channel's name I'll provide you this excel workbook in the description box check the description there you will find the link of downloading it and I will suggest that you should go and try these codes by modifying it yourself right after you have made your changes jump back to excel and try out the reverse macro to see how it actually works and comment below in my video so again let's get back to the next point of today's video that is understanding the macro security so friends macro security is a key feature in excel the reason is that VBA is a powerful language so powerful that it's possible to create a macro that can do serious damage to your computer a macro can delete files send information to other computers and even destroy windows so that you can't even start your system the macro security features introduced in Excel 2007 were created to help prevent these types of problems by default excel uses the disable all macros with the notification options with this setting in effect if you open a workbook that contains macros and the file is not digitally signed or stored in a trusted location excel displays a warning message if you are certain that the workbook comes from a trusted source click enable macros and the macros will be enabled you can see a pop-up box there if the VBA is open otherwise Excel displays an eye-catching security warning above the formula bar if you know the workbook is safe click the enable content button to enable the macros to use the workbook without macros click the X to dismiss the warning perhaps the best way to handle macro security is to designate one or more folders as trusted locations all workbooks in a trusted locations are opened without a macro warning you designate trusted folders in the trusted locations section of the trusted center dialog box if you want to find out what the other macro security settings imply press F1 while the macro settings section of the trust center dialog box is in view you will get a help screen that describes the security settings so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video I will come back soon and show you some interesting macro videos and VBA programming with this course type series till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned